Welcome back everyone to Chemical React, the latest in reactions and whatever else we feel like. Introducing one of the hosts from somewhere in the East Coast, the man with the plan, Fusion Form. And our other host from somewhere in California, doubling one fist, Gorilla Fist. And without further ado, your host for this fine programming! Welcome back everyone to Chemical React, I'm your host Fusion Form. And I'm the other host, Gorilla Fist, and in the last episode we finally got to see the duel for like the third time between Asklad and Thorfinn. <laughs> and... I'm right, right? It's the third time, right? Yeah, it, it is about the third time. I don't know, who knows, man, I'm not keeping track anymore. But... Oh man. Orphan is getting his, better yeah. and better in each episode. He's learning to just, you know, adapt. But he just always comes up short too against obviously. Still got his butt beat. Oh yeah, got beat, got his ass beat. Not even by a guy but with this, a sword. But this time with psychological warfare. Oh yeah, he the whole time he was just antagonizing about his father's death and he just got a mad, made him go away, and he's like, you know what? Don't talk about my dad like that. And then right, yep. Nap, butt whip. Lost. Game over. Not only that, we were also introduced to like three new characters. We got the uh, the greedy uncle from Aslat family side. Right. We also got introduced to the slave former princess uh, Holanda. Holanda? I don't know how to say that. Who I think is going to end up being his like girlfriend, future wife or whatever. And then we got introduced to a prince who has like some of the most beautiful blonde looking hair I've ever seen. <laughs> who I keep thinking uh, is a uh, female for some reason. Yeah, Gorilla swears it's a female. It's not, but it is. It's not it's that. It's just I look at him, I just think of uh, that uh, the Marvel character, the female one. Mm -hmm. That's just the that's female four. I, that's just who I'm used to. In the but other than that, he also was a Thorfinn. Also got a flashback to basically when he was a kid. Uh, uh, yeah, a dream or a flashback or just like a Mufasa Simba moment from The Lion King. I don't know. Is that like a is that like a flashback or a dream? I think it's I think it's more of a dream because it was like because he was talking about revenge. Mm -hmm. and but his dad was like, to... but his dad was like, you know, like you, I told you multiple times, son, don't do this for revenge. <laughs> but he's like, well, maybe you know, he's could... had maybe he's had the dream multiple times at this point. That's you know what? That's fair enough. Uh, oh wait, there's a fourth character, uh, that axe throwing guy, whoever he is. Ah uh, yes, he's that we in saw the in the opening. Yes, that we yeah, saw. Yeah, you see him for a split second slicing people up. And now he's he was teased at the end of episode 8. So I assume he's going to be in episode 9. And we'll have to see where it takes us and see what ends up happening in this next episode. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's oh, jump wait. into it. Count it down, Fusion. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, it's the Battle of London Bridge. Do we recognize anyone here? Hell no. <laughs> wait, wait. There's what? random civilian number three. Where? Oh, he's gone now. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think they were going to be here. Oh, no. Well, they had that big old war that's happening right now. Well, yeah, but they were still at home when they like everyone else was getting together. So I assume they weren't going to come here. Uh, we're going to go straight into the action. <laughs> his, his hair is falling off again. Do you think maybe Ashkin's dying and he's trying to train Thorfinn to take over? That is true. I never thought about that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> angry. I don't think his father's spirit wants that. Oh no. Last episode he didn't want that. I meant the physical representation of the heart. Not the metaphoric words. A big old smile on his face. Okay, okay that's his name. I don't think they're listening. <laughs> I 
Oh damn, he's fucking tall. Hey, Blackbeard. Oh yeah, huh? It's the voice actor of Blackbeard. Like that's gonna stop him, right? <laughs> and leave your fortune behind. <laughs> so we got the Englishmen, Denmark, uh, the Vikings. Who else is in part of this war? Oh, yep, he's crazy. Oh, yeah, this guy's just insane. <laughs> Didn't you say to leave his treasure behind? A big rock. Oh. Goodness, what a Ooh, boulder! Just, just slightly, he missed. Bro, bro, bro! Oh, you're not gonna get away. Okay, they got away. I like this guy. <laughs> He's just laughing at that. That arrow transition was really nice. Very clean. Wow, oh. we got hit. Ooh. No way. They're gonna chop it down. Oh, what a now that's what a badass. <laughs> I never thought of that. Throw the rocks. Throw them all. Oh, they're gonna throw logs now. That's not just a log. It's a what? big spear. What? Oh. Log chopper. <laughs> <laughs> he made it up on the spot. Wow. How many does he have? Oh, is that is that where the phrase London Bridge is falling down? Maybe. No, uh, that can't be from this. There gotta be something else. Oh, Thorfinn coming in. Using it. Oh, he's gonna jump? Of course he is. Okay. Oh man, the animation is oh. on point right now. The sheer force. Oh, it's gonna be one v one. Okay. I like him. He's he's honorable. I mean, he used to be part of Thor's group, right? Uh, yeah, I think at one point. Yeah, I think you're underestimating him. Dude, look how One huge punch. this guy is. What? No, wait. Did he make him bleed? Okay, okay. Oh. Ooh. Ah. Just. Ah, man. He's so close. He's so fast, too, for a big guy. Wait, he also said it, too. Wow. Gonna kick him, okay. Oh, no way. No. Oh, no, he, he oh. blocked it with his. Oh, this guy's insane. But if it saves your life, block with your hand. Ah. I have no words. <laughs> I'm impressed. What? <laughs> he 
He's just like Blackbeard. Blackbeard takes damage and doesn't hurt, get hurt, basically. Dude. He's still flinging him. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time for us to leave now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? what? He still had the fucking blade in his hand. <laughs> oh. Oh. No. Oh, wow. He still acts like he don't give a fuck about his fingers being lost or cut off. Okay. Right. He's so sad. Like, oh, here we go. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> My, that's so. Gruesome and awesome and <laughs> He's like, oh, let's things. do this again while his two fingers are bleeding out and missing. Does anyone want to be killed? <laughs> I could kill you. <laughs> oh, man. Do you want to die? Because I can, I can do that for you. Wait. Yes. Maybe Thor Kell's related to Thor. Maybe that's like his brother. That could be true. Or like a cousin. Because his name's Thor. Was it Thorfinn? Thor Kell? Thor's. Is he drifting down the river again? Uh, these are dead people. He drifted down the river again. Look, he's right there. Oh, oh, there he is. His arm's broken or it's dislodged. Well, it's not that. He got shot in the shoulder by an arrow, right? No, he got... That was the arm that he was slung around and beat from side to side on the bridge. Fair enough. If anything, at worst, it's dislocated. At, uh, at worst, it's broken. Oh, so it's dislocated. Oh, it's dislocated. His ankle is sprained. Oh, and he's and got broken, broken ribs. ribs. Dude, that guy is fucking taller and bigger than you. He didn't, give a, he didn't care about it. He lost his two fingers. What's going on? <laughs> huh. He wants to fight more. Uh oh. Baka chan! <laughs> Maybe they actually are just leaving to go somewhere else. <laughs> they are. They're going somewhere else. They look so sad and defeated. Not gonna die. He's the fucking main protagonist. Not mad, man. Obviously, you've never been in a fight. That was episode nine of Vinland Saga. Woo. That was that was a great fight, man. The animation, the animation, so good during the fights. Not the oh. same. I don't know, I'm Not just like, I'm still amazed at the fact that Thorfinn stabbing in his hand right, cut off two of his fingers and the blade was still in his hand and he was just still like, you know, swinging him around and dislocating his shoulder in the process as well. Yeah, you know, like... <laughs> yeah, this guy is a badass, bro. like, that's all I can say. <laughs> but it's interesting, because typically they don't give up capturing cities or whatever, Yeah. but it looks like they are, they're going over to Wessex, they're just, what, what are they doing, walking... 
around like because they said they need they go, they go through london to get to wessex right yeah to capture that river but to be fair the king told thor uh my bad uh loki to you know fuck it just leave behind four thousand people and just go to wessex about it like that's about it just do this because i told you to because i'm the freaking king of this land and uh, do what i tell you to thorfinn hates fighting uh from from that end scene like he doesn't understand why someone's enjoying especially him because he's crazy for fighting he doesn't understand I don't, why i don't know i'm indifferent because i used to like wrestle i used to fight people and i don't know something about fighting is very exciting to me i, I know you don't i don't want to fight you might want to fight i don't want to fight Thorfinn obviously doesn't want to fight but he does know. it anyway I don't, i'm just indifferent like when i when i like to fight it's not about you know it's about moving yourself and adapting to any situation you know? Thorfinn's not used to fighting some guy that's six feet tall and trying to figure out how do I beat this guy only to come by, you know, cutting off his, what is it, his pinky finger and his ring finger? His, yeah, his pinky and ring. Exactly. And then, like, a guy who wants to fight, who loves to fight, he's just going to be like, you know what, you're going to have to kill me if you want to beat me. I wonder if he's, like, going to end up enjoying fighting or if he's going to understand finally understand what the what his father was telling him eventually that'll happen i don't know because like we can't forget about uh what's her name orlanda or, or the land. girl yeah because like I, I she's gonna play a big important role into this she's gonna be like you know what's the point of fighting Dolphin's like i just want to fight because of the event i don't of, wait I, wait they they might play on the trope that because he has nothing to fight to protect, he doesn't see the point in it. But the moment they are like a thing, like he'll he'll understand why why they like why people like to fight to protect the things they care about. This and that could fall that could fall like what his dad did. He fought to protect the people from his village and his yeah. Son. But like his father stopped fighting in the war because he realized that you know the tragedy and like the horrific things that happened during right, the right, war. Right. 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 Because his son was born, or not son, his daughter was born, and he understood that now, so he left. But he, but he only but went. It's not like he did understood that from the get go. His fucking, uh, sorry, excuse my language. But his wife told him, you know, name your daughter. He was like, nah, no, you're not gonna leave this room until you name your daughter. Right. He didn't care until he said it. He didn't care until his daughter was born about that, wanting to live. But what's that phrase though? Like every strong man has a strong woman behind him. Yep exactly like that his wife was the one that you know like hey this is your daughter and name her <laughs> right but he he still fought to protect the village but that's why and ultimately that's why he's dead basically the the king was like hey we need to let canute give the reins of the the leadership because we want to boast his uh you know his status the, he, the, no they're trying to like show the people that he is a fit ruler to one day be king of the vikings that he can fight and lead. That's that's the whole thing with that. Maybe one day he'll he will actually lead and kill a lot of people. He'll be a leader. Because right, Canute. Based on what they said, Canute's never fought before. Is the thing yeah. in an actual war. But well, I'm sure that'll um, we'll see in the upcoming how things go with that. I think that about does it for the outro for episode nine. If you like what you see. Come back next time. And I'm Fusion Form. And I'm Gorilla Fist. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you till the next episode.